Hey everybody, K-Ball here from Zurb. In this week's lesson, we're going to be talking about deep linking to tabs. What does deep linking mean? It means linking not just to a page that contains a set of tabs, but down to a particular tab within that page. It's super easy to enable within Foundation, and after this lesson, you should know how. So, let's get to it. Okay, so diving into how we do this. Normally we would do these demos in CodePen, but because we are doing stuff involving links, we can't do that. CodePen renders your code in an iframe and you don't actually have access to see what that URL is or how it is. And you can't link directly to that rendered page. You link to the CodePen framing around it. So we're just gonna do this in my basic dev environment. What I did is I used the Foundation CLI to create a new Zurb stack template, ripped out the starter page and just dumped in some basic tabs. So you can see here, I've got these tabs, data tabs. Um, they've got four tabs in them, one, two, three, four, um, basic panels, and then you can see over here on my browser what that ends up looking like. Just a, a simple demo, nothing big. This does not yet have deep linking, and what you can notice is as I click around these tabs, nothing in the URL is changing. It's just manipulating the internal page. If I wanna change that and have these suddenly be links that I can link to a particular tab, I do is I go to my data tabs object and I add data deep link equals true. When I save and refresh, now when I click around, you can see that it's actually updating the anchor tag in the URL. And what's more, if I take this URL, copy it and send it over to somebody, when I click it, it will automatically open that tab. What's more, it actually will scroll to show you the tab. So in this case, we don't have anywhere to scroll to. This is the entirety of the page, but let's just add a bunch of space at the top. We'll take our header and copy it a bunch of times just to give us some space. Now what happens when I go back to here, I scroll down, I pick a tab, let's go to tab four, send that link to somebody. It automatically scrolls down so that I can see the tabs. Now here we didn't have space underneath it. Let's see what happens if there's more space, what happens when we start going down. So I'm just gonna take those headers, dump it down at the bottom. So I've got a whole bunch of headers in here. The whole point here is to give spacing above and below my tabs. So if I go back to tabs, reload the page, I have spacing above, I have my tabs, I have spacing below. When I click, on a panel and I send it to somebody, they get scrolled straight to where that panel is right here. Now say you don't want them to go straight to the panel, say you actually want them to see the tabs ahead, uh, that's configurable too. So we can add a data deep link smudge attribute. The smudge is this idea of we're not just gonna go straight to that panel ID, we're gonna smudge it up a little bit so you can see the tabs list. So data deep link smudge equals true. When I set that in place, now you can see there's a nice little animation. When I send a link, it takes me there and it kind of animates into place so I can see the tabs. All right, so now you know how to deep link to tabs within a page. And you even know how to set it up so those deep links show not just the tab, but the whole tabs panel. If you wanna learn more, you wanna go deeper into tabs or any other foundation component, check out one of our Intro to Foundation webinars. We have one each month that covers all the latest and greatest stuff at a beginner level. If you're beyond that, we have an advanced foundation webinar also each month. Check out the links below. Hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want more, we have a subscribe button right up here. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every new subscriber, the Yeti gets a popsicle. Why he wants a popsicle when he lives in ice? Who knows, but Foundation Yeti wants a popsicle. Get him one. All right, see you next week. K-Ball signing out.